Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, come here. Johnny Cash, should we test this juice -a mat Yeah. Do you think it will work? Do you, what do you think? <laughs> Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the vintage girl next door. My name is Lacey and today we've got a vintage gadget to test out. Thanks to one of you lovely subscribers, I have a new to me juice mat If you remember, I did a video not too long ago testing out 1950s iso mat by Rival, and I will link it for you just in case you missed it. But in that video, I tested the iso mat new in the box. It had the instructions and the little manual with it. And in the manual listed the other products by Rival, and one of those was the Juice Mat. I'm so excited. One of you found it and sent it to me. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to test it out. So, really quick, before we get started, I wanted to remind you that I do have a giveaway going on to win four brooches from Lipstick and Chrome. All you have to do is download Disney Emoji Blitz. You can click the link in the description. Download the game, get to level 10, screenshot it, post it on Instagram, and tag me at Lacey Fay. Giveaway is still going, so you still have time to enter. Good luck, everyone. I can't wait. All right, I thought I would tell you just a little bit about the Juice Mat and kind of rival in general. So Rival is an American manufacturing company. It was started in 1932 in Kansas City, Missouri. And on the bottom of the juice mat it says Rival Manufacturing Company, Kansas City, Missouri, USA. So started in 1932 and the juice mat was their first manufactured kitchen product. They had the whole O-Mat line. So the juice mat iso mat there is a can -a mat and a broil -o mat I know what's next on my list. We must collect all of the O-Mats. It's a thing now. So keep your eye out, neighbors. Let me know if you see one. From what I can tell, this model is early 1940s. I did find a few ads for the 1950s version and an ad from 1948, and they were both a little different than this one. So I do believe this is earlier 40s, at least prior to 1948 because then they switched to a tilt top version. And also the 1950s version is quite smaller, a little bit more compact and just kind of a different shape in general. I have already taken this apart and cleaned it and it was very simple. I will show you how to disassemble and reassemble the juice mat all of the pieces, how it works. I love the design of this. It looks very Art Deco. I'm into it, you guys. I also have a hand juicer now, and I thought I would just kind of do a little side-by-side -side test and see if one is easier than the other. As you can see, I've got the isomat out because we are going to make a few vintage cocktails again, because I feel like if we're juicing some limes and lemons, listen, let's put them in a drink, right? So let's get started. Let's test out this gadget. Let's take a closer look at this gadget. This glass fit perfectly in there, so I thought that would be good to juice into maybe. Um, I love the Art Deco style of this. The sides are very cool, the chrome is very cool, and also the handle looks very Art Deco as well. It's super easy to raise and lower and it stays raised once it is up. It doesn't drop back down, so that's nice. And this is how you take it apart. It's very simple. That metal piece just lifts off and it has the little dots where that fit into the holes. And then that middle section just twists out 
and then the top part also just unscrews and twists right off and I dropped it <laughs> it's fine <laughs> so that makes it very easy to disassemble and clean which is great Got it all put back together very nicely. It's showing you a little lever action there. It works great in Vogue with the juice mat. Now we're breaking into Trader Vic's book of food and drink. First cocktail I'm going to make is the plantation and then we're going to do the bourbon squash. First of all, got my ice tray and I did take a lot of your advice and I ran the ice tray um, under some water first and then the ice came out super easy. It was great. So I've got my ice cubes in my shaker. I'm gonna half a lemon and an orange. And I also put my little measure under there to juice into. So first of all, we are going with some lemon juice. And I did have to press down quite hard, but it was not hard to do. Makes it really easy. It's easy to have some good leverage there with the handle. And then also it's like sturdy and <laughs> Yay! and heavy enough that it is not a problem. So we're going with half an ounce lemon juice. And now for the orange. I'm gonna do half an ounce of orange juice. Which I could have gotten more juice out of that orange for sure. I just did not need it for this recipe so now I'm going with my non-alcoholic spiced rum and one ounce of the rum mix that around really good with the ice in the shaker then pouring it into a glass and there you have it drink number one now we're going for number two this is the bourbon squash and this is the juice of half an orange and half a lemon. So I'm just juicing it right into the glass there. Since I used the whole half, <laughs> the whole half of the orange. <laughs> also, as I was doing this, I realized if you wanted like a full glass of orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice, that would take probably like five oranges because Look, that's from half an orange. I got most of the juice out and not very much, uh, not very much juice there. But it is very nice to, I feel like, get all of the juice possible out. And with that lemon, it had a little tall pointy thing on it, so I had to cut that end off. And then it was a lot easier and it fit in perfectly. And as you can see, it is empty of all the juice. <laughs> now we're going with one teaspoon of sugar, dissolve that into our juices. And it said to drop the half lemon that you juiced and the orange into the glass, but that just seemed a little excessive because that was a big orange. Now we're going with my non-alcoholic bourbon whiskey, two and a half shots of that, two and a half ounces, and gonna crush some ice. And the isomat worked like a champ, just like last time when we tested it out for its own video. <laughs> Still doing great. 
Didn't feel like it took as much muscle this time, honestly. And spilled ice everywhere. It's fine. Stir that up. And then I decided to test it out with some other citrus fruits. So we've got our lime and I wanted to do this little comparison with the hand squeeze juicer and the juice mat And it is very hard to squeeze. And I don't have strong hand muscles like that. So that made it probably even more hard. And as you can see, the grapefruit uh, was not working out so well. It was too big and it was very hard <laughs> to try to juice. I tried my best and I mashed it and mashed it and some juice came out, not a whole lot, and then, then that happened. All right, we did it. It worked wonderfully. It was quite easy to use. I'm excited. Let's taste these drinks and see what we think. Okay, this first one is called The Plantation. Let's see how we feel about it. It's pretty good. Refreshing. Orange juice. Lemon juice. Rum. Non-alcoholic rum. Not bad, not bad. And this one is the bourbon squash. It said to put the whole, the squashed orange in there too. That just seemed a little excessive, so I didn't. But the lemon's in there. This is good. I think I like this one better than the other one. Yeah, this one's really good. I would totally make this again. Yummy. I also attempted to juice the grapefruit. Didn't work out well. I got a little bit of juice out of it though, so I'm gonna drink it. Mmm. I love fresh grapefruit juice. Really good. All right, folks. Final thoughts on the juice mat. I loved it. It worked really well. It was not too, too hard to use. The bigger the fruit, the harder it was, which makes sense, obviously. But I do feel like it's really good at getting all possible juice out of whatever it is you're squeezing. So especially the lime and the lemon, I felt like I got all the possible juice squeezed squeezed out. With the handheld one, it is a little harder for me. Like I have a lot more leverage with this and it feels a lot more solid and sturdy to press with than the handheld one. I, you know, like it's just harder for me to, to squeeze this way than it is to just use force and push down. So in that way, I feel like the juice and mat's great. If you're looking for something portable, I mean, obviously this is quite heavy and a little bit more cumbersome, but as like an in-kitchen appliance, wonderful. The handheld one is good if you need it to be portable, if you need to take it somewhere, that makes sense. But overall, I think the juice mat is superior. I feel like it got more juice out. It was easier for me to squeeze. So let's give it a rating. As far as aesthetic goes, it's very cool Art Deco design. I really like it. I like the font. Juice Matte is very cute. The shape of it, the chrome, like I said, the Art Deco sides and even art kind of Art Deco handle. The round, round, round shapes all working nicely together. I like the chrome. 
I think I will probably end up refinishing this because it does have a lot of wear, um, the paint chipping off, and then the paint is actually just like kind of flaking off back here. Not sure if that's from citrus, maybe. It's very possible, right? So I will probably refinish it at some point and not sure i may choose a different color i have seen them in a really cool green like a mint green so i may choose that when i refinish it but overall aesthetics i mean it's pretty great i'm gonna probably i'm gonna give it a 4.5 i think out of five as far as aesthetic purposes go very cool very art deco i love it for efficiency did it do what it said it was going to do? Did it do it well? Did it do it effectively and easily? Yes, it definitely did. I've not seen a vintage ad or read any claims as to what it says it can juice. So I'm guessing it's not meant for bigger fruits like grapefruit. So that one was a fail, but overall the lemon, the lime, the orange, all worked really well. I'm gonna give it five out of five. I don't know that there's anything honestly that I would change about the efficiency and the way that it works. It's very easy to clean. I like that part as well. Very easy to take apart and clean. Super simple to disassemble it. I feel like that's a big deal too when you're looking at a kitchen appliance. It's if it's hard to take apart and clean, that's a big no for me. So the fact that this is so easy to take care of, I love it. I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say five out of five. Efficiency, it did it, nailed it. Juice the mat, nailed it. Good job, rival. You've done it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this vintage gadget video and I will link my entire vintage gadgets playlist for you in case you've missed any of them. I've got a whole series on vintage gadgets. And if you are new and you feel like sticking around, go ahead and subscribe. We would love to have you join our vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. Also, if you love the vintage gadget series, feel free to give this video a like. It really does help me out. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. And I hope that wherever you are in the world that you are feeling safe and feeling loved. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Johnny Cash, we almost done. Would you like some juice? You're an angel, sir. <laughs>